The Sports Trust continues to enhance education through sport by supplying sporting kit, equipment and sports facilities to disadvantaged rural communities, including abled and disabled sport across all sporting codes in South Africa. We thank our Board of Trustees and partners who continue to provide the opportunity for all South Africans to participate in sport. For more information or if you want to partner with us, visit our website at www.thesportstrust.co.za. Zama Kuchle Primary School in Maluti Township, a rural location situated in Matitiele at the Alfred and Zord District Municipality in the Eastern Cape, was a hub of activity when the Honourable Minister of Sport and Recreation, Fakile Mbalula, continued with the unveiling of the multi-purpose sports court. A well-needed facility in an area that has produced the likes of Bafana Bafana midfielder Andile Jali and has potential of producing a lot more future sports stars. Today is a very proud and exciting day. We're here with the Minister of Sport and Recreation, Minister Fakile Mbalula, and the Department of Sports and Recreation, handing over a multi-purpose sport court to the community and the school of Zamakushle High in Matati Hill in the district of Alfred Tunzo. It's just really exciting because the population of the school is 1,800 kids and they're a strong community that love sport and today this sport will this court will provide them with the opportunity to play five-a-side soccer, netball, basketball, volleyball and tennis and it's really exciting. The multi-purpose sports surface that we have installed um, at, this kind, at this particular school and other schools across the country um, is very user-friendly. Um, it is are made from recycled plastic, so that kind of um, assists us in trying to make the kids aware of them looking after the, the environment. Um, the court is, is very friendly on the knees, especially uh, in terms of the players turning and all the sudden movements that the players have to make, as opposed to your concrete combi court. Um, the court surface lasts longer uh, because it's, it's maintenance free and the plastic that they use to actually make the tile up. Um, it's very durable. Yes, my performance is better because this um, field is um, it's better than the last field I was in. And it's, um, it's, it's just really great, really great. Uh, when we play for Fasai side, we're just playing for at school. That's when we're at school. Uh, we used to play full grounds when the other schools come to us to play with us. Uh, I enjoy playing five-per-side soccer because we, we don't run a full ground game. So it's new for us to play in a five-per-side game. So we enjoy playing in five-per-side games. All these sporting codes that are in this field, your volleyball, your, your netball, your, your mini soccer, and the 12 five-per-side, your, you mentioned all of them. They are, they are, they are played they are in, on daily basis, in fact, because they there is an itinerary that is running from Monday to, to Friday for, for learners. Starting from those under nines up to under 17s as our, as our school uh, is, is, is only having grade nine, grade R to grade 10, to grade nine. But all, all those learners get opportunity to play in this, in this field. Um, the sports court is comprised of a um, couple of tiles. Um, it's laid down over a flat surface. Um, it's normally very easy to put it down if there had been an existing infrastructure before where in terms of an old netball field or a basketball court that was there. But if there isn't, we do actually put our own concrete surface down and then lay the tiles actually on top of the concrete. In most cases, we prefer to use um, the people from the community in helping installing the surface so that at least they have the knowledge of should anything go wrong, then they have the know-how of how to fix um, whatever's gone wrong. As a municipality, we encourage uh, the community taking ownership of each and every project that is uh, uh, built for them. Now that we have built this court, we, uh, we must have a strategy of looking after it in terms of ma um, maintaining the things that will be broken. So the first thing is that we're going to make sure that in our programs, of what committees and uh, councillor meetings that one of these projects is made uh, to be part of our uh, IDP. Yes, in our school we have even adopted a philosophy that says sport now is a religion because 
as you can see them, they are well, they, 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 are, they, they, they conduct themselves excellently, I can say so. They, they, they doing fine in school. Uh, even, even, if they, they, even if they pass from our school to other schools, they normally get bachelors from other schools. And they are, doing, they are doing well, they enjoy themselves, they are always healthy, they, are always, they always enjoy themselves, they, they get fun around this, this pitch. And they socialize a lot, they get friendship, they, they do all this stuff. I love playing netball on this field. Um, I love seeing my friends play and everything. It's just really fun. It actually gives us a break and it gives us space to actually breathe. And um, when we go back to class, we're actually more refreshed and we can concentrate for longer as students. We enjoy playing soccer we, because the soccer, we go far with soccer and we want to see us playing for Bafana Bafana first team in South Africa, so we enjoy soccer. You, you see as it is here in Maluti, it's built, yes it's built in Zamogutle SPS, but it's of benefit to Maluti High, Maluti JSS and to Langs in Eco Secondary School. That means it's a, it's a community thing, it's not about the school where it is built. So for us as a municipality, when we, we are very happy about the project and we thank the Sport Trust. Uh, we really congratulate the school, even the school and the community of Maluti for having had such, such an opp opportunity to, to be granted a, a court of this magnitude. We have brought this facility to ensure that uh, the community embrace sport and that's the way to go. As you can see, this is a bigger excitement and uh, this facility makes that particular intervention in terms of uh, uh, the degeneration of the social fiber and this is where young people meet make friends but compete uh, to become better stars in sport in different codes uh, going forward so delivering facilities of this nature uh, uh, imbues these young people with life uh, in terms of uh, their dreams and what they want to achieve and uh, i'm happy to be part of a team like with the sports trust like it has happened over the years, to deliver these uh, uh, facilities, especially in the rural areas. We are in the deep, deep rural areas of the Eastern Cape, bringing a fantastic facility to the, to the masses of, of young people uh, in the Eastern Cape. The Sports Trust, enhancing education through sport.